ครับBack to my Hollow Knight adventure. Yay. More Hollow Nuts. Twenty three hours into the game. Yay. Pretty sure, like half of that spent me just wandering around, not knowing where to go. But yeah, let's go. We got we got work to do. Uh, I am getting pretty close to the end of the game, I think. I'm not going to finish it today, that's for sure, but... No! What's up, bearded? No! No what? Because... Yeah, hey, dude, no. <laughs> Just no? No white. Yeah, we still got a few places that I need to explore. I don't even know where I need to go. I got a lot of shit. I do have all the spells, which is nice. Not no, maybe yes. It's possible. I'm trying to think. There's a few things I need to do. Maybe I could go back to Dirtmouth and challenge uh, Zoat again. Should I go? Oh yeah, there's a few like DLC stuff that I've never checked out, so I should probably deal with that too. Maybe I'll do that. I think I'm gonna do that. Want to see DLC? Jerk off, dude! You'll get banned. <laughs> nah, it's okay as long as the camera can't see it. Is there a lot of DLC? There's actually uh, quite a bit. The first DLC I've actually tapped in, like some of the charms are from the DLC apparently. Like I think uh, this one, I think like these last ones are from the DLC. And one of the boss fights I've tried is a, is a DLC. Uh, some of the dream guys are DLC. It's not a lot of noticeable stuff, but there's a big DLC that I've never played before where you actually get like a whole little like extra story with a new boss fight. That's something I've never done before. Oops. Wrong way. Should I go to the fungal waste? Probably not. I don't think I need to go to the fungal waste. Yeah, there's also the Queen's Gardens that I need to finish exploring. But yeah, um, 
there's two, well, there's like three DLCs. There's one DLC where they just added like a few little extra things to the game, like a few extra charms, a couple like mini like boss fights. But then, uh... And then uh, the second DLC, or technically part of the first DLC, I think it was, oh, that was close. And another part of the DLC was a thing called the Grim Troop, where it's like, it's a little like story, like a little side quest that you can do with a, with a boss fight at the end. And then there is the uh, Godmasters DLC, where there's a, f a bunch of boss fights in that DLC. So I'm going to check that out. Welcome, trip blood. Green path is where I want to go. Yeah, uh, I do plan on doing most. One of there's like an extra and there's like the bad and good endings that you get in the base game, but there's also an extra ending that you can get if you do the DLC. But I don't want to do it because that ending kind of sucks. And also you have to do a boss gauntlet where you have to fight every single boss in the game on one life all the way through. Which just sounds like torture to be honest. Well that leads to the queen. Like, that leads to the queen's gardens. How come I've never been there? Sounds like there might be an end game kind of thing. Can you keep going stuff after the end? I don't remember. Oh, careful, dude. Yeah, that sounds horrible. It really does. Oh yeah, and on top of the, the boss gauntlet, there's even extra bosses. So you fight all the bosses in the game and a bunch of extra ones. Like, um, you know the nail masters that have taught me my special techniques? They show up as a secret boss during that gauntlet. So little little things like that. But yeah, I don't remember if the game if it's like a Bloodborne where like once I beat the game I have to start over. Cause it auto saves. I think it auto saves right before you fight the boss. And then you can go back in and fight him again. And it kinda like it just saves right before the boss fight and it stays as you know, it just stays there. You were gonna Another thing you could do is you could go back to bosses that you've beat and go up to the corpses and hit them with the dream nail and then you could fight like a dream version of them. Which is usually a lot harder and uh, not fun because I've tried it before with the very very first boss of the game and I couldn't I never was able to beat him. Just because of how ridiculous it was. Also, let's see. Okay. As I suspected, I need to be able to swim to get under there. What was in here? Okay, this is just the place that Quirrell was hanging out. Remember this place. Do you get anything for doing that? Um, I don't remember. I think you get like a you get a secret ending basically. You get like a few cutscenes. Uh, there's some lore tied to some of the boss fights. Uh, the dream bosses they give you a lot of the dream essence, which is what you need to upgrade the dream nail. And fully upgrading the dream nail is how you get the uh, the true ending of the base game. I'm gonna go to the Howling Cliffs.
But yeah, I think there's some charms that you can only get by... Oh! Kind of caught me off guard there, buddy. Forgot those guys were here. those guys how tough they were before it always feels good in these kind of games to like go back and fight enemies that gave you a hard time and just absolutely tear them to shreds I'll, I'll dip my toes into the Godmaster. I don't know if I want to finish it because I want to get the uh, the basic game's true ending. Because I do like that ending. That ending is really cool. And if it lets me uh, continue playing after the fact, then I'll, I guess I'll try getting all the different endings. Oh, that's weird. I don't know if you can see it, but that rock up there is glitching the fuck up. Sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, I might as well try it because i never done it before. And from my understanding, I think Silk Song is also supposed to be like a DLC that's going to get added later. It's not like its own game. It's supposed to be like a, you know, a DLC sequel. Kind of how um, the Old Hunters DLC was part of Bloodborne. And the Old Hunters is basically like might as well be uh, Bloodborne Part 2. Considering how, like, how much content you got out of it. Oh, is that how they're doing it? I think? I've, I heard I heard that said once or twice. Uh, I haven't really looked into it because it, at this rate, it looks like Silk Song is never coming out. Because it's fucking taking forever. So I'd rather not look too into it, get excited for a game that might not come out until like the fucking heat death of the universe. Alright, this is where I thought... I thought something here. Yeah. To the howling cliffs. Well, how are you doing, anyways? Like, what you been up to? Imagine they just want it, want to get it right. I feel like Hollow Knight is not that old. True. Well, it's not so much that Hollow Knight is not old; is that it's just aging so well. Like this game feels like. This game feels like a game that could have come out this year and be, like, perfect. Alright, cool. So I guess I can't go this way. Oh, I'm still inching a little bit forward. Ah, I can still move forward. No, never mind. That's as far as it goes. So yeah, this is the uh, edge of the edge of Hollow. No king, no mind release. Hi, chat. Hi, dragon. But yeah, you're right. At this point, like, Hollow Knight, I think, is, like, a few years old. Right now, doing some Uber. We've been playing some of the Halo Infinite multiplayer. Ah, cool. By the way, uh, hello to Informal, who I know is uh, just listening and can't chat because he's probably driving. He says hola. Hola, dude. Oh! I found it! Check this out. This is one of the DLCs. I think. Yeah, this should be it. Yeah, 
so this area, I should be meeting an NPC somewhere down here. There he is. Inspect. A corpse of a large bug. Oh, that's not normal. Weird informal high. Was there more to that? Like... Okay, I turned on a fire. Are we watching the new Cowboy Bebop? No, we haven't watched it yet. A lot of people are making fun of, uh, are making fun of it. The thing is, like, they're making fun of, like, only two, like, specific scenes out of it. And I'm like, alright, well, what about the rest of it? Like, is it... Are those two scenes the only thing that define the entire show? Like... Because I've, I've actually heard, like, one reviewer say that it's pretty good. The only problem is that it just... It's basically just the anime, but in live action, and that's it. Which, yeah, I guess that, that's the thing with like adapting an anime or something. It looks like it fell all the traps I expected it to. The problem with adapting anime is like, there's no right way to do it. Because if you do it like exactly like, like they're trying to do with the Cowboy Bebop one, where they're trying to make it look and feel just like the anime, then it looks weird. Because anime is just fucking weird, right? Uh, I saw the clip with Radical Edward and it's like, yeah. Edward is a weird fucking character. Edward is a cartoon character. She, like, seeing her in real life as a real person acting the way that Ed acts, of course is going to be fucking awkward and cringy as fuck. Because Edward is awkward and cringy as fuck in the show. And people are obviously going to make fun of it and hate it and, like, dunk on it and all that shit. But then if you change things up, people are going to be like, oh, then why the, f like... People are just gonna get mad that it's not just—it's not like the anime. So, like, what's the point? Hey, take the uh, the Dragon Ball anime uh, live action, for example. They changed a bunch of shit around, and everyone hated it because it's obviously it's not it's not like the anime. But I'm sure if they had done like, if they said, "No, we're gonna do it just like the anime." People would hate it anyways, because then it'd be like, oh yeah, like, this shit just doesn't translate well to real life. Yeah, people are morons. Yeah. Yeah, because I saw the clip with Radical Edward, and I'm like, yeah, that's... That looks like... Like, if I saw that girl at a, at a convention, I'd be like, hell yeah, that's an awesome fucking cosplay. You look just like Radical Edward. You, you just look like Radical Edward, but in real life. But then seeing her act that way, it's like, oh yeah, that's right, Radical Edward is kind of fucking goofy and cringy. But it works in the anime because it's a fucking anime and she's a cartoon character, so, like, you can kind of, like, forgive it for being goofy and weird because cartoons are inherently goofy and weird. But once you see, like, a real person acting that way, you're like, ew. It's just gross. All the charm is gone, yeah. So far, the only one I've seen from the clips that I really, really like is uh, Jet. The guy playing Jet is really, like, trying his fucking hardest. And he kind of, like... Jet actually... 
Jet actually rides that line where it's like, at least from the clips I've seen, where he's he's not like like line by line just acting exactly like like Jet in the show, but he also has like I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's kind of like he's not just quoting Jet and trying to look like Jet and act like Jet, but he has the vibe that Jet has from the show, where he's just like an old guy who's kind of tired of everyone's shit, and it works. Spike, from what I've seen, Spike is trying a little too hard to be funny, haha. You know, too too many, like, heroic quips. Which, in the show, in the anime, he kind of does that. But at the same time, it's like, eh. It just feels weirder when a real person does it. I think he's been a little lacking of late. Bye-bye. People seem to hate Vicious as well. Really. Yeah, Vicious is another character where it's like, yeah, in the anime it works. Because, like, anime characters are, you can draw them all edgy and weird and, like, super over the top. And it works well because it's an animated. But, seeing a real person try to act like Vicious, I can imagine it just comes off as, like, a cringy, he just comes off as a cringy edge lord. Hunter only keeps reading one of my messages. What do you mean? I'm probably not reading all of them out loud. That's probably what I'm doing. I don't know. Which one did I miss? Because I don't know. Lol, forget it. What? <laughs> I'm trying to read all the messages while also playing this game, so if I don't read something out loud, it's probably because I, I'm, like, half concentrating on this. Nah, you're like, you're saying I'm not reading your messages. I don't know which one, which one did I skip over? What? Well, to be fair, I went back and read everything you said, but like, I think we're on the same page because you, yeah, it's like what you're saying. Translated directly to real life is just awkward and embarrassing looking. Which is, yeah, that's pretty much the, the problem.
I said this when we saw the trailer and you said I was wrong. Yeah, but the trailer didn't show much. Vindicated. I don't know. I feel like people are probably giving it a little too much shit. Although the scene with Edward does, does look fucking cringy, but then again, Edward is kind of cringy in the show anyway, so... I don't know if that's... Ian does look pretty good. Ian is the only one that kind of, like, works. Because Ian is just a dog. How do you mess up a dog? I don't know. You make it a cat. <laughs> that actually would have been funny if they just like went full like just did it completely wrong and just casted a cat to be iron. Well, have you seen any of it? Where is that stupid tree? supposed to be a tree down here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Hi. Oh, this one's gonna be fun. Nah, probably not going to, to be honest. I don't know, are there any live-action adaptations of animes that are actually, like, worth watching? Fate of cringing to death. The worst kind of critic, the bozos who didn't even watch it. <laughs> You're right. Being really judgy for someone who hasn't even seen the show. True. <laughs> mm. The clips I've seen are pretty bad, admittedly. True. I don't know. So, well... I feel that it's unfair because there's... Yeah, I've seen, like, so far I've seen, like, a few people making fun of these two specific clips. And it's like, yeah, those are, like, two clips. You know, where, where's the rest of the show? Or am I supposed to judge the entire show on just, like, those two, like, minute-long clips? And proud of it. I wouldn't mind watching it just out of curiosity. Whatever, it's on Netflix and it's free, so... Well, you have to pay for Netflix, but still. It's not like I'm going out of my way to pay money to see a thing. If it turns out bad, who cares? And if I hate it, I have the 
I have the actual anime on fucking uh, in a box set. I do love cringe. Yeah. I don't know, the argument that, like, people are, like, hating on this kind of stuff... Whenever people hate on this stuff, it's always like... Alright, well, if it turns out bad and you hate it... You can always go back and rewatch the original, like... Like, if this... If this show sucks ass and I fucking hate it... I, I have the box set of the original anime with me, so I could just watch that whenever the fuck I want. Cringe can be nice sometimes. Like, when people kept, like, ragging on, uh... And also, you know what? Sometimes having a really bad adaptation can be a good thing. Because look at the, uh... Look at Dragon Ball. Because of Dragon Ball Evolution, the creator of Dragon Ball felt so bad that he basically, like, came out of retirement just so he could continue the series. And we got some pretty decent animated movies out of it. And to be fair, and Dragon Ball Super is actually not that bad. It's pretty fun. Boss fight. That's right. Well, before I die here, let's. Where does this go? Oh, that's right. Uh, okay. What's over here? Oh, yeah, this guy. Hey, you still the nail art. Dash slash learned from my brother Oro, was it not? So, he was still alive then. Hmm. Still haven't forgotten what he owes me, and I never will. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't bother you with such things. Happy that you were able to train under another nail master and grow stronger, my pupil. My brother Shio. How fare you in that green kingdom of thorns you call home? I think of you every time I raise my nail. Do you ever close your eyes and remember the time we spent together with Oro and our master? I'd like to think you do. Yeah. Yeah, the story with these three guys is pretty cool because he is here training with his sword. His other brother somewhere else training with a sword. And then the third brother decided to become a painter. And they all trained with the little tiny guy that's at, uh, that's up in Dirtmouth. People are freaking out about a One Piece adaptation? Oh boy, One Piece. Netflix's reign of terror has to be stopped. Oh, uh, who knows? I don't know. I don't give a shit about One Piece. I never watched One Piece. I couldn't get into it. Also, it's still fucking ongoing, so I'm like, yeah, I'd rather just not. I, I don't want to spend the rest of my fucking life trying to watch the first half of a show that's still not fucking finished. Mashing offend the hell out of weebs and trans folks in the same year. Wait, why are trans folk... Why are trans people upset? I am Gorb. Bow, bow to Gorb. The great mind, I am Gorb. Ascend, ascend, ascend with Gorb. Okay. Let's kill Gorb. Don't tell me trans people are, are offended by uh, Chappell. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Netflix is still uh, in hot water over that shit.
Easy peasy. I am Gorb. The great mind, the pain ascend. I am. You're fucking dead is what you are. Netflix is so weird, they either knock it out of the ballpark or release trash so bad it's offensive. Well, can't make a masterpiece every fucking time, right? You, you gotta make some poo poo every once in a while. Just falls. Ah, but I skip, I skip over King's Pass. That's interesting. Some days you fart, other days you shart. <laughs> okay, dragon. Oh, hey! This wasn't here before. A new land, different from the last. How many more will we see? Did you call us? You called us and we came. We came. You don't look scared. Why did you call us? Ah, it doesn't matter. Don't tell me. We came and I can smell something. Something deep below us. I want it. I want it. Shadow and fire will dance together. So pretty, I think. The smell, uh, You're hiding something very nice from me, aren't you? You shouldn't hide something so nice. Show me, show me. Put it on, quickly. I don't. So yeah, this is the DLC. That fire I lit in the in that cave down there activates these guys. Babala, They're called Gaynor. the Grim Troop. Ah, huh, you called us. Speak to Master. This fucking cool guy. Hello. So it was you who called us. Well met, my friend. Well met. I am Grim, master of this troop. The lantern has been lit, and your summons heated. A fine stage you choose. This kingdom fallowed and worn and root. Perfect earth upon which our ritual shall take place. And you, my friend, your your own part is far from over. Go on. As the lantern flared, your roll was cast, our compact ridden in scarlet fire. Eager we are to see you commence, but first, some illumination is required. Grimchild. Oh, so man. Across these lands, my kin now spread, harvesting that essence peculiar to my breed, the flame and dream. Seek my kin, claim their flame, and return to me. Together, marvel shall be achieved. But don't fret, small one, for this task you won't travel alone. My child shall guide you to the flame and gather within itself that burning essence. Like you, the child plays key roles in this task. Only with it by your side will the flame and my kin reveal themselves to you. Okay. So yeah, this is the first major DLC called the Grim Troop. And it's a side quest I could go on that ends in a really cool boss fight, apparently. And apparently the hardest boss fight in the entire game. So that's going to be fun. Oh, uh, look there. Something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared. Ugh, it fills me with dread. I think it best to try to ignore it. Alright, so... Oh, they even put up like a little sign to let you know where they're at. Okay, so, I now have this, the Grim Child Charm. Well, I guess, let's 
to something I need to do fragile strength need this for where I'm going. And I want fragile strength. So technically fragile strength is a charm that will break if I die, but if I die while fighting a dream boss, it doesn't count. <sighs> Bapanada. Bapanada. No more supplies. No more. Precept 4. Forget your past. The past is, fame, is painful, and thinking about your past can only bring you misery. Think about something else instead, such as the future, or some food. Precept 5. Strength. Strength beats strength. Is your opponent strong? No matter. Simply overcome their strength with even more strength, and they'll soon be defeated. Alright, let's... Yeah. Let's kill this son of a bitch. <laughs> Beautiful, terrifying, powerful Zote. Did my charm break? No. Okay, so I was right. Uh, I looked up a thing about this boss fight. Apparently, if you can, f once I beat him, I can fight him again and again, and I think I could, you can fight him up until like ten times or some shit. Every time you fight him, his title gets longer and longer. So he's like the terrifying, beautiful Zote, and then he gets to like the terrifying, beautiful, powerful Zote. Then it's like the terrifying, amazingly beautiful, powerful, amazing Zote, and it's like and so on and so on and so on. To the point where like the entire screen is just filled with like a bunch of adjectives for him. Pretty fucking funny. But every time you fight him, he does get stronger and he gets more like crazy ass attacks. Ah. 
it's kind of weird because his attacks are so pathetic and weird. Like the part where he's running around. I like the Bug Lord's pose. Oh, which one? The, uh, already for Grim? Mr. Vampire Dude? He looks fucking cool as shit. I thought we were talking about Zote. He's so powerful looking. Look at him. Uh, but yeah, the annoying thing about the move where he's running back and forth, as you're downward slashing him, when he falls over, you can't reach him with the sword anymore, and, it's, and it makes it hard to, like, pogo off of him. But I think I could beat this guy. I think I could beat him. and die. God, that sucked. Oh, you see, there's a little candle that lights here now. I could challenge him again. <laughs> Why are you crying? Be like, killed him? I didn't kill him. He's still alive. I only killed the dream version of him. Precept 6, choose your own fate. Our elders teach that our fate is chosen for us before we even born. I disagree. Precept 7, mourn not the dead. When we die, do things get better for us or worse? There's no way to tell, so we shouldn't bother mourning. Or celebrating for that matter. Or celebrating for that matter. He's a bug, he's, he's been eating shit all his life. Well, we don't know if he's that one of those kind of bugs. Uh, I do have. Let's see. Cause technically, I could challenge him again. So you can see what I was talking about. Gorgeous, passionate, terrifying, beautiful, powerful Zoe. Wrong with my controller today. I'm not doing any of the shit that I'm pressing. 
Ah, uh, okay. God, half of those were me pressing the button and nothing happening. Also, the fact that he hits me, like, when he runs at me and hits me, it's like, how the fuck do you jump over that? And apparently the fight gets even crazier later on. If you fight him, like... Number nine or eight or some shit, like he gets like exploding attacks. It's really crazy. Got him that time. So yeah, now there's two candles lit. Now apparently you can keep doing that over and over again. I don't know if you get anything for killing him, like... There's like a certain amount of times that you could kill him and then finally he's dead for reals or some shit. Precinct number eight, travel alone. You can rely on nobody and nobody will always be loyal. Therefore, nobody should be your constant companion. <laughs> she looks tired. She's like, oh man, this guy's still fucking talking. I think the more times you beat him, the less she's like in love with him. Oh, okay, that's not... I want to reach her more. Great Prince, your words, are they repeating? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I guess the more times you fight him, the more she's like, Oh, this guy is kind of fucking stupid. Oh, I could do that. Alright, I definitely want Quick Slash. Quick Slash is way too good. Mark Pride is way too good. Master's Glory, Chris Bear, Nail Arts, or damn, Shaman Stone 3. Steady body allows one steady off from attacking. Is there another one notch one that's worth using? Why not be able to run faster?
moving around faster might actually be really useful. Alright, let's go visit the, the resting grounds. Oh, have tea. I always feel bad because every time you, you make tea, I always forget that the tea is there and then it's like, I forget to drink it. Pew. Ooh, I can't wait. Oh yeah, another thing of the DLC is the Path of Pain. And I can't wait to show that because that part is fucking fun. Ah, Wielder, you have 900, blah de blah de blah. Are you surprised that this old kingdom has so many hidden dreams? Yes, you're starting to see them. The connections between us and the dreams we leave behind. It's like prints in the dust. The time has come for you to learn how to revisit the places you connected to you. Hold the dream nail tight, Wielder, and imagine a great gate opening before you. <gasps> oh, am I finally going to get the thing? Oh, this ability is fucking so useful, the dream gate. Hold down while using the dream nail to set a dream gate. Hold up while using the dream nail to travel. So now I can set a teleportation spot and teleport to that spot whenever I want to. Dream nail glows bright. It holds over 1200 essence. Looking into it, I can see so many more memories peering back at me. So many asking to be remembered. None of us can live forever, so and so we ask those who survive to remember us. Hold something in your mind and it lives on with you, but forget it and you seal it away forever. That is the only death that matters. Ha, huh, so they say. Enough of that, though. Take this relic and come back to me with 1500 essence. Uh -huh. Do I have 1500? No, I don't. Uh -huh. So yeah, now I can do this. Now whenever I want, I can teleport to that spot. Okay, now let's go back to Green Path. Or uh, Deep Nest? There's some areas in Deep Nest I haven't explored that I should explore. There's also a Dream Boss there that I haven't fucking killed yet. This is what Thai? Chai? That's what I said. That's what you said. <laughs> the fact that they had to put little like spiders crawling on the screen is just like why? Why would you do that? Oh, there's a path down there I haven't gone to. There's so much, like, I haven't explored. Yeah, I guess my only problem, which is, like, technically not a problem, because it's technically a good thing about the game, is that the world map is so big. There is so much to explore. But at the same time, it's good, because it's a game that you could play for a very long time. To make you poop yourself. Oh, I don't need help doing that. 